I want to thank you for this. Uh, you sat down with our Eddie Pell. Yeah. Gave him a lot of time. We were appreciated. Yeah, great. Yeah, it turned out really well. Thank you. Well, thanks for a couple minutes. We appreciate it. Um, I start off with the basic one of, you know, what, what does it mean to you to be on the 75 greatest NBA players all time? It's really, it's really a great honor for me to be a part of the 75. You know, to be a part of the 50, you're thinking, wow, that you have really arrived in your career. That was really a special situation. But then, when 75 come along, and you have all the great players that you played against and that you didn't play against, it really made it a very special situation. And it, 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 it just, it just said, hey, you really have arrived, and, and it's, it's really special. How much more special is it for you to see an uh, 89-year-old Bob <laughs> You know, because, you know, these, this, well, <laughs> these are some special moments. Yeah, but you can't, you can't look at it like, uh, you know, maybe an 85-year-old. You have to say, hey, when that 85-year-old was 25, what was he doing? He, he, was, he was an outstanding player. And if you could take this 85 and take this young player and bring him back and say, hey, y'all are the same age, now go out there and do it. And that's what you have to kind of look for and that's what you have to kind of do. And it's really not to kind of compare basketball players. You can't compare them because you can't take, you know, like Oscar. People say, Oscar, he was great, but he wasn't as good as this guy. Well, who, who's to say he, he wasn't as good as this guy? And so I think you have to be able to, to really look at basketball players from their individual talent and doing their individual days and times of year. You, uh, now, now, you, your career did span a couple different eras. Well, yeah, yeah. 70, 60, 70, and, and 80. So what did you appreciate about the, the eras and competition then? And, you know, watching today's game, what do you appreciate about well, what you see? Well, I really appreciate today's game because I go to a lot of the Rockets games and almost every one of their games, but it's really a great situation to see these young players out there today you know we couldn't touch guys it, it was like you had you couldn't play with your hands and, con and control the guy well now there is no there is no hand check and you have to just kind of play the guy and now it's one of those situations these guys are so good they shoot the ball so well it, 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 it's, it's like I was at one of the games, there was a guy, we had a guy on the Rockets, he, he was kind of talking really smack to a guy, and the guy ended up scoring 40 points. I, 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 you know, it, it, the game today, it, it's really very challenging. I think a lot of the guys are just really turning it on on a level that all of these guys are turning it on. So, I, I, you know, I think there's a guy like Porter. Porter, for the Rockets, he is really scoring the basketball. And then when you see a guy come in, like Dallas come in, <laughs> what can you do with it? You know, yeah. and it's, 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 I just think that the league is so balanced and so different now that these young players are just amazing. When you come to these events, you get the 50 years or 75 years, anybody you look forward to catching up with that either you love playing against them or you didn't like playing against them? Well, today I, I really, I saw a guy 
that I really enjoyed. I played with him at Washington, Archie Clark. And I played with him at Washington, and, and the first thing he told me, Archie enjoyed the basketball, enjoyed having it. He said, I would have passed the basketball to you every time. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it, was, it was a lot of fun, you know, to hear him say that. <laughs> but when he was playing with us, he didn't give it to me every time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said we could have won the championship if they had gave you the ball every time. So, so no, it, it was it was really it was it was, it was really exciting, and you know seeing him. And, but I think that it also give you an opportunity to miss people. You know, I miss Wes Unsell, uh not being here. You know, I miss Nate Thurman not being here. So it's one of those kind of things that you appreciate a lot of the guys who are here, but you miss also those guys who are not here. May we get you out on one? You were talking about how the game evolved six, seventies, eighties. We're doing NBA at seventy-five. Uh -huh. NBA at hundred. Is that a four point? <laughs> is that a twelve foot goal? Is what do you think? That, how you maybe think you see the game evolving? Well, I don't think I don't think you'll see the game evolving from a, 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 a twelve foot goal. I think that <laughs> it's going to be a ten foot goal, and I, I don't think they can change it to be. Twelve feet. I, 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 I just don't see it. I think that players, uh, guys are jumping so high now that yeah, they they could do it, but they I don't think they will do it. What about three pointers or any, anything about the game? Maybe a global, international franchise? No, I think you the three pointer is what you're seeing now and what you're gonna what players are giving you now. I think that. Three pointers is uh, where else can you go on the other side of the half court? <laughs> I, I don't think that you can, and I think that the three point is it. I think that all the things that players are go doing now, they are really enjoying it. They're really the fans enjoying it, and I think that the only thing that that really could happen now is that the fans not enjoying it. Say, I have one. More. As far as the the history of the game goes, how do you think people can get that across to you know the newer generation to appreciate the guys that laid the groundwork like you guys? Well, it's very difficult to do that. I think that a lot of the times it's like the guy who invented the car and then it, <laughs> you know, the guy when he's inventing, it's really great. And people say, wow, that is a great invention. But I think that as, as the invention goes forward, I think that you, you don't, it doesn't have a, a certain special development entity that is really that special anymore because somebody else has taken it further along and created it.